got about 650 kids on the grounds today from schools all the way down in Fruitport. Uh, I think we've had Everett here. We've got uh, Foster School from Ludington Area School District. Uh, we've got Mason County Central Schools. We've just got schools from all over uh, West Michigan here. And we'll, we'll, we've had them here for other History in Action Days and we'll continue to do these History in Action Days through this next season. This is the uh, last hurrah for us. So as you see the kids in the background and you hear their voices, you see what a great time they're having. Uh, History in Action Days are really a remarkable opportunity for kids to come and see these costumed interpreters, our volunteers, our great volunteer staff who usually are in 19th century clothing and who are able to tell the kids and show the kids exactly what life was like 100 to 150 years ago. It was a hard scrabble existence and our ancestors right here in West Michigan, by sheer dent of their courage and their perseverance, made a life for themselves here and made it possible for us to enjoy the life that we enjoy right here today. So these kids are getting a, an immersion in what life was like in the 19th century here in ways that just reading about it uh, couldn't possibly uh, match the experience of seeing the actual artifacts that our ancestors used, the tools that they used, uh, going through the barn, uh, seeing the, the, the harnesses for the horses, the milk barn itself, and how, how uh, cows were milked by hand in those days, and uh, how uh, the uh, fruit was harvested, uh, how hay was put up. In the Burns farm, family farmhouse, uh, the kids see just how Spartan an existence that was. Uh, those uh, those uh, farmers, uh, the ladies cooking on wood-burning stoves, no indoor plumbing. It was, a, it was a difficult life. And so these children get an opportunity to see what life was like so they can appreciate where we are today and then head us all into the future as they take charge and become the, uh, the, the, the uh, generation that's going to make life possible for, uh, for us in the future.